Cars that go on two wheels. Cars that spin in the air. Cars that go underwater. So many movie memories all brought back in this celebration of 50 years of the James Bond films. The vehicles range from the ordinary Ford car from Quantum of Solace to the Surreal. This is a submarine from Octopussy. Although the cars are often production models, they need the magic touch of special effects designers like Chris Corbold to make them James Bond cars. And how many cars do you use in a film? Um, the number of cars in a film depends on how complex uh, the sequence is. For example, in Tomorrow Never Dies, with the BMW 750, we had 15 of those. So another day that we adapted four Astons and four Jags. Titanium armor, a multitasking heads-up display, and six beverage cup holders. So can you give us a hint then of what the special effects are likely to be in the next Bond? No. Don't oh, come on. No, sworn to secrecy. <laughs> okay. We can look at a car like this, we can dream about it, but what's it like behind the wheel? Aston Martin call it the vanquish, we call it the vanish. And engage and fire the passenger ejector seat. Ejector seat, you're joking. This car makes you want to do bad things, it makes you want to put things to the test. Board of this designer supercar sets the whole tone. You know you're in a car cocoon of classiness. That's how this feels. Million dollars. Love it. The feeling in my tummy. <laughs> it's like being on a date with Daniel Craig. 